Number eight. Comparisons and analogies must be very thoughtfully delimited. usually by observing contexts near and far. Comparisons and analogies must be thoughtfully delimited, usually by observing contexts near and far. I have a relative in a more enthusiastic wing of Christendom, um, more enthusiastic than virtually anything I've seen in this country. So be assured, I'm not taking cheap shots over here. Her argumentation with me at one point ran along these lines. In the days of his flesh, Jesus never turned down anybody who asked for healing. And without exception, the healing was successful. Now the Bible says, Jesus Christ the same yesterday and today and forever. Ergo, you can fill in the conclusion. Now what do you say with that? Is that good reasoning or not? Well, <clears throat> Let's try this one. Jesus Christ died on the cross. Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today, and forever. Ergo, it doesn't work, does it? Now, what is necessary is to see in what context Jesus Christ the same yesterday and today and forever is offered. It's found in Hebrews chapter 13. One must see what's being said. But precisely because Jesus discloses God in real space-time history, there are all kinds of elements in his self-disclosure that are non-repeatable. They're historical events. He's not an abstract deity. So that whatever you think of the particular issue that concerned her, the reasoning that got her there was dead wrong. It was a linking of two texts that sounded pious, but was fundamentally flawed, not only because it did not understand the context of the Hebrews 13 passage, but also at the end of the day because it was trying to force two texts together to bring out conclusions that the whole life and ministry of Jesus countermanded. Now, it's partly within that framework, then, that I would put in that little chorus I mentioned at the beginning. Be like Jesus, this my song. Be like Jesus in the home and in the throng. There's clearly some truth to it. But one does not have to read far in the Gospels before one finds out where one cannot imitate Jesus, where one must not imitate Jesus, and where one must imitate Jesus. <clears throat> 